the professions, like people come to me and say, what should my child study to have a job in the future? A, a profession you never heard of. A profession will be new in the future. There'll be no banking, no advertising, no profiteering. Do you understand? The professions of the future will be environmental restoration, taking care of health of people, from youngsters to old people. All get health care, whether you have money or not. There's no money. So you can't pay off anybody. You can't buy a congressman off. It, as long as you've got money around, you're going to have corruption. No matter how many nice laws you invent, it doesn't work. And if you make money selling drugs, and as they say no to drugs, you're some kind of a pinhead that's going to respond to say no to drugs. A pinhead wrote that, the wife of the president. Real stupid person. <laughs> uh, first of all, thank you very much for a very refreshing talk. I really enjoyed it. But I want to press you on the point of the transition between the current and present corrupt um, state that you've described, which I think many of us would probably agree with, and the rather wonderful picture you paint of the future. My particular point is about the, the they that is supposed to exist or not exist. I was interested to hear your colleague Peter Joseph insist that there was no such thing as they, some kind of corporate entity that um, is finally responsible for all this corruption and unpleasantness. Um, but on the other hand, you this afternoon have said pretty explicitly that you think and recognize that there is such a group as they, what we may call the power holders, the corporate entity. My question to you is, surely those people are not going to give up without one hell of a struggle. You've said it's going to be painful, but have you any idea just how painful it's likely to be? These people will not give up without a struggle. They've already demonstrated their willingness to countenance death on a large scale, pollution, misery. Do you think they're going to stop? Do you think they're going to be, as Peter Joseph suggested, merely embarrassed when you tell them your wonderful message? I suspect it'll be a lot worse than that. No, they will continue to object until their business collapses. And that's what happened. The banks are collapsing, General Motors is out, so we gave them money and bailed them out. But General Motors will not succeed because there's not that much purchasing power out there now. Not only that, General Motors never submitted a design for a car to the public to look at, which gets more miles per gallon, lower in cost than Japanese cars. They have no project. And if they have no project, it'll fail again, and the bailout will not occur again. You have to let this system go right into the crash. That's where it's going. And it has to crash, unfortunately. I wish people were sane enough to say, how can we make a better future for humankind? They don't say that. They're all just protecting themselves. General Motors, Ford, all corporations tend to protect themselves. I didn't make it that way, that's the way it is. Jack, uh, there's another group of people that I'm sure you've heard of uh, in India. Uh, they live in a city called Oroville. Um, they have a, a different approach to the same problems that we're discussing this kind of forum. I'd like to just uh, hear your thoughts on what's going on there. We're really not that familiar with their, their approach. We've never heard it. Never heard of We've seen some pictures of, of what they're doing, but... Okay, thanks. Okay, there are a group of people called technocrats. And they believe, they believe in making a technical society in America. But if you don't deal with the world, the Chinese will do nuclear experiments, the Russians will do everything. You can't live to yourself anymore. I've had people come to see me, wealthy people, and say, can you design a city, city of sustainability for us with a wall all around it? I said, look, people are not as stupid as they used to be doing the last impression. They would want stuff over your wall. <laughs> if you're eating and living well, nobody can slip around but starving while you're living well. The idea of living to yourself 
comes from the old world. We must move toward the brotherhood of humanity. This is where all religions try to do, but they don't know how to do it. If religious people understood the Venus project, this is exactly what religion is about. Because they say, well, you're concerned with the material world. You want to build new houses and roadways and transportation. And they said to me, my kingdom is not of this world, it's up there. So I say, you forgot the Lord's Prayer. Jesus said, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. There's no money in heaven, no business, no private ownership, no banks. If you can't get that through your head, then you're folks. I do not come here to attack anything. I'm just trying to say there is another way. Let's look it up. Look up the Venus Project. Try to become very familiar with it so you can talk about it and not project. Like a lot of people tell me, a bunch of scientists in gray telling us what to do. You will work in Area D. You, Area K. That comes from Hollywood. 1984, Brave New World, Atlas Shrugged, all these are systems to keep you from putting in a new system. So it's written by Hollywood hacks, not scientists. Even Star Trek, they kill each other with laser weapons, blow up spaceships. This isn't the future, this is a psychopath's idea of the future. <laughs> And uh, we're, we work all the time. We've been working. The difference between the, the activists that, that are kind of the watchdog of what's going on here and always telling what's wrong, it's really verbal masturbation to us because they really don't pose an alternative to direct direction. Jacques's been working on this all his life. I've been working on it for 33 years with him. If, if we don't get out there another direction to work towards that, that could work for all of our benefits and talk to other people and show it and work towards it in any, any profession in any way that you can, other people are going to do your thinking for you, and that's called fascism. So, you know, the, the transition can happen in a lot of different ways. We don't know who we will meet out there, and the more you talk about it, the more we might have access to people with funding who know that this system is full of shit and want to try something else. So, you know, that's all we can say is, is work toward it. If, if you don't work toward it, I can assure you nothing will happen. Uh, being an industrial designer myself, I'm interested, what steps do we need to take and what can we take to change uh, education of designers that are shaping the world of today? And my second question is, um, how do we motivate people, whether designers or scientists, to work and contribute to the system uh, if everything is available freely to everyone's use? So why would someone choose to work um, all day and all life uh, instead of just... Okay. You're assuming that everybody has enough money to live well, they do nothing. That's not true. People with lots of money don't find enough time in the day. They're educated to do things. So I would say, years ago, uh, again, talking to myself, how are we going to change this world? And I talked to and designed the system. Then I said to myself, how do you know it'll work? I said, I don't know. So I don't know if you know this, I joined the Ku Klux Klan in Miami and dissolved it in a month and a half alone. <laughs> then I joined the White Citizens Council. They believe they hate foreigners, Dutch, Latins, Filipinos, all of them. And I joined that organization by talking like they did and then turned it around. In one month, I dissolved it completely. Then I asked a question when I lived in New York. What are the most backward people? in this area. And the consensus was the Arabs. I said, what makes you think they're backward? They still believe the earth is flat. So I said, boy, if you can turn them around, that would be pretty good proof of your system. So I called up the guy in charge. You always work with a guy or girl in charge. I called a guy named 